so weird. It's such that after three years, you live with it, you love it, then you get sick of it, and then you start to see it through other people's eyes, and it gets exciting then you again. Love it again. I'm, and I'm loving it again. I'm, I'm loving it. This is the night where you start to love it all over again. Yeah. Well, something surreal, you know, to me uh, happened tonight before we came to the red carpet. We had Imagine Dragons perform the song Zero from the movie live out in front of the El Capitan. And that was pretty amazing. Um, there, there are very few moments when I'm in the moment and I'm aware that it is a moment that will live forever in my mind. And that was one of them. I was just like, can't top this. Yeah. This is crazy. It's being etched into my memory deep, very deep. Right? Because the first movie was just about their life in the arcade. Um, and though a great world, um, and from a time in our lives that we loved as kids playing arcade games, we said with this new one, we need to, we need to expand that world. It needs to be bigger. Um, it needs to be something that everyone knows, you know, because not everyone grew up with arcade games. I, I know it's hard to believe, but, but everyone uses the internet today. And by sending them to this new world of the internet, it gives them a much bigger world to explore and a much more contemporary world to explore. It's, that, that changes every day for me. Today I'm excited for them to see Sarah Silverman and Gal Gadot sing a duet. That's the thing I'm most excited about for today. It'll change tomorrow. And you've got all the princesses here tonight. They are all here tonight. I see Jody Benson over there. I saw Paige O'Hara. I mean, it. Never in my life did I think that I would be directing a film that reassembled the group of princesses all under one roof. I mean, it's, it's a little mind-boggling. I'm, I'm living a great dream right now.